I'm not sure it will go in. No. Hi guys. I bought recently this uh, new new. For me, is new. Yeah. <laughs> one terabyte uh, NVMe from Crucial M.2 and I'll show you the speeds of it with two enclosures one from IC Box and another one from Axagon this enclosure from IC Box it's uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2 up to 10 gigabits per second so let's see what we have inside smiley face nice touch USB-C to USB-A cable, USB-C to USB-C cable, and the enclosure, it's aluminum, it looks nice. Okay, so let's open it up. I cannot work with this one. A close-up if you are curious about that. Regarding the disc, whoa, I wasn't expected it to be so small. First time I'm buying this, so yeah, it's small. So the NVMe card, you, you insert it like this. There is this um, small nut that you have to use, special one. And the screw on the back, nothing complicated. And then you have four ones to, to close the enclosure and that's it. In the box there are also these two plastic faces, whatever. You call them this one from hexagon it's it has the same speed usb 3.2 gen 2 anyway it's the same okay let's open it up so this one has heat pads usb c to usb c cable unfortunately it doesn't have a usb c to usb a cable and small tool screws and that's whatever okay and the enclosure is like this okay. this this part is uh, is metal aluminium it's a bit strange but there are these plastic things that keeps it like this why it's bended like this crazy i hope it's okay but I do not understand the reason why it's like this. Press this inside, you, see, you can see, you have to hear the click, you know. And then you put this small part here. You keep it with your finger, it's uh, magnetic. I was not expecting that. Okay, so you have to pay attention when you put it back in or if you remove it so you see it will not go further you have to make sure you do not press on the middle because if you press on the middle you may crack it so you press on the on the screw here yeah you press on it and slowly slide it in and that's it you have another type of uh, screw for the back. Now let's plug it in and see what's happening. These two enclosures have similar speeds. There is no difference between them in this area. The performance is as expected. No speed problems. Do note, this was done with MacBook Pro 16 inch, which has Thunderbolt 3 ports with theoretical speed of 40 gigabits per second. There was no bottleneck there. Unfortunately, I was not able to reach the NVMe's uh, claimed speed of 2400 megabytes per second, but, but for that you need Thunderbolt enclosure. These two cost about 30-40 euros, and the Thunderbolt 3 one, real one, not uh, those that claim to be Thunderbolt 3, 
is about 200 euros. So once I will find one with a reasonable price, I'll post a demo with it. So in conclusion, these two enclosures are very good. The only difference are the design, of course, and the hexagon comes only with USB-C, USB-C cable, but you have three thermal pads in the box. And IC box comes with two cables, USB-C, USB-C and USB-C, USB-A, but it doesn't have thermal pads. You decide what you want. I personally prefer to have both cables as I'm switching sometimes from one computer to another. And pads are not difficult to find and they are cheaper, of course, but it's up to anyone's decision. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.